Hello everybody and welcome to Milestone Study. My name is Anusha and in this video we are going to learn the format of our PD test in 2023. This video is for those people who are beginners at PTE and do not know anything about this test. So let's find out the basic structure, the basic format of the test, after which you can start practicing on your own or take classes with us. So let's begin now. The first thing that you need to know is the time for the entire test, which is two hours. Within two hours, you'll be finishing all four modules. The four modules are speaking, then comes writing, reading and listening okay listening will be in the end and speaking in the beginning uh all together there will be 20 question types and we'll deal with all 20 question types in the video now to look at the overall picture uh these four modules are divided into three parts the first part is speaking and writing then the second part is reading and third is listening okay the first part which is speaking and writing there will be 54 to 67 minutes the entire part one uh, which has got seven tasks five from the speaking section and two from the writing section yeah the second module or the second part is reading 28 to 30 minutes and there are five tasks uh, listening has got 30 to 43 minutes and there are eight num eight tasks so all together if you count the total number of tasks there will be 20 tasks all right the first module which is speaking five tasks First one is read aloud. Even before read aloud, you will get an introduction part, okay? In the introduction part, you just say your name. My name is Anusha. My name is uh, Imran. My name is Radha. And then you go to the next question. So the first question that you get read aloud, here you have a passage in front of you. You have to read the passage as naturally as possible. Do not hesitate. Do not speak fast or slow. You have to maintain a normal constant speed as I'm speaking at the moment. Then another other one is the preparation time. Obviously, for a passage to see at the first time and at the first glance and then speak, um, many of us will hesitate. So they give us 40 seconds to prepare. And then after that, a beep tone will come and then you speak. OK, so 40 seconds to prepare, 40 seconds to respond. Um, the mic will open for 40 seconds. You speak your answer and you click next after you are done. Now, um, and the number of the total number of questions will be six to seven read aloud. Sometimes, like in one of my tests, I've got eight read aloud as well. Uh, this module also gives you reading marks. The second type is the uh, repeat sentences. Here you are given a sentence. You have to hear the sentence and repeat whatever you've heard exactly, okay? Uh, but the trick here is you do not have to speak um, exactly. You can trick the computer and still get full marks by only speaking 50% of the content, but in flow. Fluency and flow is always the key in repeat sentence and in all speaking modules, focus on fluency and flow and not in the content. Uh, also pronunciation is there. Then comes repeats and um, the number of questions, which is 10 to 12 questions. Yeah, no prep time. That means after, uh, as the audio finishes, you have to speak immediately. If you don't speak, the microphone will turn off in three seconds. The third type of question is describe image. Here you are given an image. You have to explain the image using some structures. There are some tricks and tips to do it properly. You can find all the links in the description below uh, and also in the upcoming days i'll explain more and more of these modules sequentially okay um so here you get an image you have to give you 25 seconds to prepare actually and after that you have to uh, answer the blank the diagram they can give you a pie chart and then you have to explain the pie chart um for 10 to 15 seconds. I know you've heard many times people say you speak for 20 seconds, 30, 40 seconds, but I'm telling you, you only have to speak for 10 to 15 seconds and not more than that. I mean, you're not going to get less marks if you speak more, but my um, point is, if you can do with 10 to 15 seconds, why would you speak for 20 seconds, isn't it? If you can get any, like, suppose you are going to buy bread, and if you can get the same bread, same price in your nearest store, why would you go to a supermarket which is far away, okay? So that's why. If you can do with 10 to 15 seconds, why would you speak for 40 seconds, yeah? The fourth type is retail lecture. In retail lecture, you've got uh, one or two audios. Uh, you hear the audio. You'll be given a pen and a paper. You have to write some words down, uh, or roughly 15 words, not less 
than 15 words, but more again is safe, okay? And then you speak for 10 to 15 seconds. Now, don't go and ask your friend, is 10 seconds enough? Don't, because your friend doesn't know, okay? I've taken 20, 20 for, 21 attempts so far, uh, taking a lot of experiments, doing a lot of experiments, and, uh, you know, changing this and changing that and getting some scores, getting 90, getting 85. I know when you get 85, and I know when you get 90 and when you get 45, okay? So, you don't ask your friend. I rather, you ask your friend to watch this video, all right? So, just speak for 10 to 15 seconds. Done. You go to the next question immediately uh, so after that again the structure the template will be linked below all right uh, answer short questions the last question in the speaking section they'll give you very easy general idea questions uh, they can ask you um, who do you go to when you have a toothache so do you go to a dentist or a pharmacist you obviously say a dentist yeah so speaking is not so hard 90 in speaking is an easy task easy feat if you don't get 90 in speaking, then you ask why you're not getting 90, okay? Because see, so easy. Read aloud, you read a passage. Repeat sentence, you repeat exactly. Describe image, you use a template, describe it 10 to 15 seconds. Read a lecture, 10 to 15 seconds. Words are already there in the audio. Answer short questions, you just say your answer or you say, I don't know. Okay, again, don't come and ask in the comments, um, but can I repeat the question? Can I do this? Can I? Yeah, you can do anything. You just have to speak. But my te te technique, my the short way is just say, I don't know. Okay. Uh, it's not for the marks, but for the fluency. Yeah. Um, a detailed video again in the comment. All right. Now, next task is a writing task. After your speaking comes writing. The first task is summarize written text. In summarized written text, you get one to two tasks and 10 minutes each. This is a lot of time. You know, you save so much time just by doing the trick. Okay. We'll get a passage and you have to summarize it. But uh, summarizing on your own, using your own words and grammar can give you less marks, you know. Uh, we are all proud of our grammar, isn't it? Actually, we are not. So uh, instead of using our grammar knowledge and vocabulary skills, we'll just copy paste. And the copy paste method also explained in detail in another video. Then comes essay. Essay, uh, I've posted a lot of videos just recently in January because uh, so many people were confused with whether we can use essay templates or not. Uh, and I also said that, yes, you can use the essay template, but remember to fill in the blanks properly. I've done five essay template video. In the in all those five essay template video, I've explained where to write advantage, disadvantage, or if you don't want to write advantage, disadvantage, there's another structure. Okay, everything is simplified. You just have to pick which one to do. And in over the internet, on YouTube, there are so many other videos or, you know, even my videos, there are plenty of videos where we've explained this and that. So don't get confused. You choose your track, you choose your path, walk on it, okay? If you are derailed, if you go here and there and asking everybody, you will get a lot of ad advice or suggestions and you will be confused as a result, okay? So just go to one path, you choose one tutor and then start your journey. Now, summarize written text, 10 minutes each, one to two questions, all done. Essay, 20 minutes, one to two questions. Uh, the template is there. I've explained in detail. Um, and then you submit your answer within 20 minutes. The word count, 200 to 300. For summarized written text, it's five to 75, okay? So don't write more than 75, but anything less, is fine. Even 20 words is fine. Even 15 words is fine. Again, don't ask your friend. Your friend will say a lot of things. Uh, even don't go to practice websites. They will say, okay, the same day uh, you do two questions, they will give you different marks. Okay. So follow as I say, you choose two sentences, comma, and that's it. Go to the next question. All right. Um, now, essay is also done. Let's go to another module. Uh, for the reading section, there are five types of questions. The first one is reading and writing fill in the blanks, which is the most essential question in the reading section. And especially if you're targeting 79, you have to get this question right. Um, 2.5 minutes at max. Don't spend three minutes uh, and five to six tasks. Okay. Uh, multiple choice, multiple answer. 
zero seconds, like not even one second. Okay, just click a random number. Don't read the question. Don't read anything. Next, okay, one to two questions. There is negative marking, but don't worry about negative marking. It's nothing. Hey, you won't be affected a lot. Even if you don't do this question, you can still get 90 in the reading section. And I promise you that if you have done all other questions correctly, then comes reorder paragraphs, reorder paragraphs, two minutes. Mm, not so important as the fill in the blanks, uh, two to three questions. Uh, you have to practice, but don't practice as if uh, this is the entire world, okay? Reorder paragraphs is just a portion. Out of 90, uh, you will get eight to 12 marks. It is a lot, but still not so much as uh, you're going to spend your day and night doing this. You have to learn rules. Uh, I have uh, I have another video with rules of reorder. Watch that. Apply it and practice, but not as if this is the most important question. The last question, the fifth question, is multiple choice qu uh, question, single answer. Yeah, uh, It is similar to multiple choice, multiple answer. You are given a question. You have to answer the question reading the paragraph. So depending on your comprehension skills, comprehension means how much you understand, your understanding skills. Uh, you have to use those skills, the language skills, and then answer the question, yeah? Out of four options, there will be one answer, which is right. Pick that and go to the next question. If any time is left in the end, you use it. If you don't have any time, just skip it. Just choose a random number and click next, okay? And uh, not so important. Yeah, so that's the entire reading section. I've done uh, videos of each task uploaded on YouTube. Just search milestone study reorder, milestone study fill in the blanks. Yeah, then you'll get it. The last module and also important for writing is listening. Okay, listening section has got eight types of eight types of questions, and um, sometimes people are confused: which question is this? What question is that? Okay. Um, Oh, I've also I've also got to fill in the blanks here in the timing. I've left it because it's a bit complicated. So I'll explain. Yeah. Summarize spoken text. You've got 10 minutes per task for one task, 10 minutes and you will get one or two tasks. That means if you get two tasks, you will have 20 minutes, 10 plus 10. But the time that is saved in the previous task will not be carried forward to the next task. So don't think like, oh, I'll spend uh, five minutes here and I'll take that extra five minutes to another task. That doesn't happen. Summarize spoken text. You have a fixed structure. Uh, you have to memorize the structure. And uh, you get the keywords or the words, nouns from the audio. You need to know what are nouns, verbs, adjectives. You need to understand what are the nouns. You take the nouns and write it in the structure, okay? Uh, memorize the structure properly, get the nouns right, and then you get your marks. Uh, one to two questions, and then comes multiple choice, multiple answer. It is similar to uh, reading multiple choice, multiple answer. It's not important. You listen to the audio. Uh, the audio is going to be played anyway. You are not supposed to click next, okay? Because it won't allow you to click next. You have to finish the audio. And then while you are listening to the audio, click any number, any A, B, C, D, whatever, okay? I'm not going to say C is the right answer. You never know. C is not the right answer if, you know, the system is different, okay? Um, so don't just feel like, oh, your friend says C is the right answer. It's not, okay? Uh, I get a lot of queries. Can I choose C? Yeah, you can choose C. You can choose A, B, C, whatever. But don't feel that you have chosen the right answer, okay? It may be right, it may be wrong. Uh, then comes uh, fill in the blanks, so important for your writing section. Mm. Also, summarize spoken text has got writing marks. Fill in the blanks has writing marks. That, uh, that simply means that your um, uh, spellings will be checked, okay? For example, the word occurrence, O-C-C-U. Is it R-R -R or single R? If you choose a wrong word, then no marks for fill in the blanks. Uh, then comes highlight correct summary. Not important, but gives you reading marks. So you might as well do it properly. Okay, listen to the audio. Uh, try to concentrate and write some notes. And after the audio is finished, just take 20 seconds to choose. Missing word, there is a beep tone, okay? In the end of the audio, beep. You have to find out or guess what they are going to say in the beep. Uh, so for example, I give you an audio. They say, I bought, 
uh, I bought some cherries. I bought some cherries yesterday from the market. Uh, it's the season, okay, cherry season. Um, I got one kilo of them. I heard that they are very sweet, but be okay. So what are you gonna say? The, I heard that they are very sweet, but be the the word but is going to change the tone of the audio, isn't it? The cherries I heard are sweet, but the ones I bought are not sweet. Okay, so you have to figure out what they are going to say after the beep tone. Then, uh, so missing word is done. Just one or two, you can find the number of questions. See, two or three, two or three, one or two. And then comes missing um, multiple choice single answer. Same as multiple choice, multiple answer. You only pick one answer. For multiple, multiple. For multiple single, you only pick one answer, not more than that, depending on your listening skills if you have good listening skills these questions will automatically be correct you don't have to find any tricks okay automatically you will get it right but if your listening skills are not good no matter how much you try the tricks the tips it won't be right unless it's a guesswork and you are lucky enough and also some people will say, then how do I improve my listening skills? You have to improve it by listening to native speakers as ancient as it can be. This rule can never go wrong. You have to listen to native speakers. Uh, like I'm not a native speaker, um, but native speakers would be someone from TED Talk, someone from BBC News, okay, or some news portals. They will be speaking and then you'll be listening and then try to co copy them or try to understand their accent or pronunciation. Um, so do that. And then for highlight incorrect words, which is the second last question, now you can take some deep breaths, you know, okay, now I'm coming to the end of this exam. Highlight incorrect words, which is um, important. Um, okay, I'll just have to make some changes here. Uh, this one is supposed to be one to two, and this one is supposed to be two to three, okay? Uh, there were some mis uh, mistakes while editing. One to two, and two to three, all right? So highlight good incorrect words. There will be two to three, mm, important for reading section as well. So write, it, write this down, yeah, as I say it. Uh, and then comes the end question, which is right from dictation. Absolutely essential. Three to four questions. I could say the government has increased the subsidy. Okay, So you have to say the government has increased the subsidy. Six words. You have to write all six words correctly. Uh, also, double word is fine. If you are confused, was it government or governments? Was it the or a? Uh? You can write two words but not more than three in one sentence, okay? Write three words in one sentence. Uh, don't risk a lot of words, okay? So now coming down to the timing, for all the other questions, seven questions in listening, you will have collective time. That is around 17 to 20 minutes sometimes. Um, and each question, if you finish quickly, you will have extra time in the end, okay? So our goal is to finish multiple choice, multiple, highlight correct, missing, and single answer. These four questions, you finish quickly, don't spend a lot of time. You utilize your time in fill in the blanks, in correct words, and write from dictation, okay? I've heard so many stories where students come and say, I missed my write from dictation. Some people don't even tr want to say it because they feel so embarrassed. Okay, see, so you need to share your thoughts and your progress, the ways you have taken the test with your tutor. If you don't share it with your tutor, then who's going to help you, yeah? So say it frankly that you missed right from dictation. So maybe your tutor will say, okay, next time you have to, you know, arrange this and that, okay? Uh, and especially if I'm your tutor, you have to share your problems with me. Otherwise, I won't know. Okay, guys, that was the overall picture of PTE test format. I hope this refreshed your mind. If it was your first time watching me, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video. Also, make sure that you share this video with your friends who are taking PTE tests and let them know about us. We are trying to help as many people as we can and 
in this journey. Thank you all for making it to 70K. I have not done anything to this time for 70K uh, because uh, of like busy schedule. But obviously, I think of how to help the community, how to help all the PD aspirants in this process. Thank you so much. This is Anusha. Take care.